The all-new QI irons from TaylorMade, designed for straight distance. Patrick, thanks for joining us inside the ropes. We are in Minnedosa, ready for the Diamond Athletic Men's Mid-Amateur and Women's Same. Amateur Championship, which tees off tomorrow morning. Course looks to be in fantastic shape here as we get into the month of July. Yeah, it's really good. Like the superintendent said, it kind of looked great right coming out of the gates in May there and has maintained since all the rain has had its issues, but also its benefits too. Everything's lush, fairways, tees, greens are as good as some long-term members have ever seen it here. So we're, we're really excited. For the competitors that are coming out and will tee off bright and early starting at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, what are maybe some pro tips here that they can try and use to their advantage? Yeah, our, our course isn't the longest, but the greens are definitely a bit of an equalizer. Tons of slope on the front nine and a little bit bigger on the back nine and the wind can come into play there. Uh, I would say trust your feet more than your eyes on the front nine greens. There's okay. more there's more there than, than meets the eye sometimes. Take us on to the front nine. Is there a hole or two that really stands out? Yeah, they're, they're all great. Um, number three is a drivable par four. Sometimes playing into the wind, it can be a bit of a, a nice risk reward hole. It's my favorite hole in the front. Um, number eight is a longer par three down the hill there. That's uh, a great looking view from the top there. And uh, birdie there is probably gaining some strokes on the field for sure. And then obviously it does open up a little bit on the back. Uh, how about the final nine? Yeah, the final nine, again, there's a few great risk rewards there. Uh, Got to be a bit more uh, precise with your approach shots on some of those greens as well with the wind playing a major, major factor on the back nine there. 14, again, another long par three. Gaining a, a par or a birdie on that is definitely gaining something on the field. And then you got to take advantage of the par fives as much as possible out there. They're very gettable. so you don't take advantage of those, you might be losing a bit of ground real quick. We won't get specific on the field, but Patrick Perrin is back to defend his men's mid-amateur championship. Jerry LaFleche, two-time women's amateur, both are in the field. But how about having a number of Westman area players? We're out here in Western Manitoba, and mm -hmm. your area here is really well represented this year. Yeah, it's, it's great. I had a number of people, obviously we've got a bunch of members playing in this event and some staff as well but uh, a lot of people from the surrounding area messaging me and saying like, hey, I'm coming out for it. And that's, it's great to see. Uh, might not otherwise play in the events with the travel and everything. So it's great to see because we do have a ton of uh, great players and, and great individuals out in this area of the province. And I'm really excited that they're, they're coming out and supporting this event in Golf Manitoba and ourselves as well. All right, well, we look forward to a great week out here. Patrick, thanks for the time, appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank <laughs> you.